All right, I just got back from the radioactive iodine treatment, the main day. So what happens in the main day? Main day is nothing really special. So I just went in because I had the I-123 yesterday. I had the whole body scan first. Oh, okay. Before that, I had to take a blood test and then I had a whole body scan. And then body scan is based on you know, the measuring the gamma ray, as I told you yesterday. And then, you know, the technician was kind enough to show me the actual image when I asked them to do so. And then according to that image, most of the iodines only show, showed up in my neck area where the, you know, like the most of the remaining thyroid cells are. So those cells that the surgeon could not see, therefore could not remove. And then there were a bunch show, showing up on my bladder. I guess that's where the iodine is in fact process so via the kidney and then to the bladder and then out out as a pee and then there were a bit on the liver and then interestingly there was a quite a bit concentrated on nose i don't know why but you know the technician told me you know, it looks all normal so and then you know, i waited i talked to the doctor it turned out that the the surgery went really well and also that the diagnosis was made only enough so that there is no other thyroid cells or the thyroid cancerous nor normal or normal showing up outside the neck area and even in the neck area the number of thyroid cells was low enough so that they actually decided to decrease the dose from the plant 150 milli or the micro millicurie down to 125 which means that you know i'll be even less radioactive than expected and it's going to go away much more quickly Okay, so that's good. Uh, I had that treatment and it's hilarious. It's just small two capsules inside this gigantic lead container that is in fact three layer has three layers. One gigantic lead box, there is a kind of let's say thin layer and then there is a one let's say, I don't know, what can I say? Cylinder in which the capsules were stored. And I took it and then you know, they checked the radioactivity level. The doctor told me, you know, like the usual things that I have to be careful about. But, you know, it was much more relaxed than you know, like the before. And then because the dose is actually lower than expected, it's even better. Now that said, I walked here and then the weather is pretty warm. So I've been sweating a bit. So that's probably going to make this Geiger count go crazy even further because the sweat is one of the, let's say, one, one of the ways in which my body is pushing out all this radioactive iodine that has not been consumed or consumed by my thyroid cells. So, which means that they, um, I might be, we might be able to see some gigantic number here in our Geiger counter. Let's try this. Alright, turning on the same thing. Oh, okay, starting from the beginning, something is not going well. Oh my god, what is going on here? No, oh, they actually is showing me seventy seven thousand, hundred thousand, hundred and forty thousand, hundred and sixty thousand, hundred and eighty, two hundred thousand. Oh my, the CPM. So I'm t talking about CPM here. Three hundred thousand. So in fact, a speaker essentially cannot make a sound. I guess it's because you know way too high. The frequency is too high for us to hear, or at least the speaker can bear. So I see 680, 690, 700,000, 740,000, so 270 is 300 millisievert. You know, like the, now looking at these numbers, I feel like yesterday I was, you know, I did way too, what can I say, early to say that, you know, that things are kind of going crazy. So let me show you some numbers here. You see here? Now you still here now. Oh my god, what is that number? Is it like million CPM? And then if it's near my stomach, what happens is that you cannot even hear because the frequency is too high, the counter is going crazy. But then the number is still going up. Okay, it went about million. And then 700 millisievert. Okay, it's actually showing me. I'm not even sure what this number is actually now. 52 million. I feel like you know the, this Geiger counter actually doesn't really know enough about the number system, and then I'm not even sure if this is correct number is showing. Okay. 
it's like 4,000, I mean, like, I'm not even sure if they said 3,600 millisievert or not, because, you know, like, how, what can I tell? What can I say? Hmm. Oh, this is going crazy. But anyway, I'm going to take a shower, then my can still think, and then come back.